Hello, this is Thomas, K4SWL, and I'm about to do a Summits on the Air activation here. I think the summit name is uh, 2453. I need to double check that. Um, the, um, yeah, 2543 which is basically how many feet high it is above sea level. Um, there's, I think it's unnamed. Um, I knew coming out here doing my research that this would also be um, on the border of uh, some game lands, which they are. It's uh, the border of Rendezvous Mountain State Game Land. And I actually got access uh, to this site through Rendezvous Mountain State Forest. Turns out I'm on the border of that as well. So literally the road, the road, which is right here on the activation zone, right at the top of the uh, mountain, straddles both of these things. So I've got my antenna set up uh, running across uh, the road here. This road hasn't been used in ages. There are tons of unbroken branches here um, across the road, so I'm not worried about anybody showing up. And if they do, I can just pick up my radio and move. But this means that it'll actually be a three site activation all at once, sort of a three for, there will be two for parks on the air, which will be the um, educational state forest, Rendezvous Mountain, and then um, the uh, Rendezvous Mountain state game land, plus uh, a summits on the air activation. Now, <clears throat> I've set up a, um, I've set up the EFT MTR in fed antenna and it's going up pretty high in the tree. I guess I'd say about probably 45 feet, something like that. And I use my portable Arborous throw line. This is one that just is in a little small red bag uh, that I can easily uh, carry with me in my pack. I left all the line out because I'll have to pull the antenna back down to undo most of it and then restuff it back in the bag. This takes much longer to stuff than the big green cube thing you've seen me deploy uh, with my arborist throw line, but I'm really, really pleased with this. Actually, I was concerned that when I did my line and, and threw it up in the, in the air, I was really afraid that this bag would just kind of go with it. So I used this uh, kind of carabiner thing I have here to uh, a hero clip to uh, attach it to my backpack <laughs> when I did that, which is probably not a bad idea in case something gets caught, but very, very easy deployment. And I'm using my Elecraft KX2 today. As I mentioned in a previous video, for some reason my EFT MTR, after I did a repair to it, it just doesn't, it isn't resonant anymore <laughs> like it should be. I need to dig in there and figure out what's going on. I probably somehow damaged the coil that's in line on the radiator, I don't know. But uh, with the ATU on this, I can easily uh, make it resonant, and that's what I did. I just checked it right now. I'm going to start on 20 meters, and there's going to be a bit of automatic spotting I've got to figure out here because um, this is, uh, I want to spot myself mainly on the soda site because I'm pretty sure that the um, Parks on the Air site will automatically spot me. Um, and let's hope propagation, propagation's not good today, it never is right now. <laughs> let's hope it's good enough that at least I can get my four for a soda activation and then also um, the 10 I would need to activate both of these sites. So in case you ever come here, I can give you the coordinates, which is basically just the GPS coordinates of this summit, and you'll know that this is actually sort of a three for site if you're willing to do it. And I'm sure, I haven't checked yet, but I'm sure this is also a worldwide flora and fauna site as well. Now, I'll do my best to set this up. This is never ideal. And I have to warn you, I'm not using my lapel mic today, so the audio could be kind of all over the place, and I apologize in advance for that. Uh, the truth is, um, I don't have a good way to attach it to me right now with my t-shirt on, and uh, so I just thought it'd be kind of more in the way than anything else. So I'll try to talk to the phone, but unfortunately you're going to hear my audio go up and down um, as I do this. Weird. I don't know why it was feeling a little funny. I, one issue with these paddles is sometimes those little posts in the middle, the stainless steel posts, come a little loose. And that can be kind of annoying when it happens. I don't see that it's doing that uh, right now. So let me go ahead and 
and everybody can go ahead and make fun of me for my rubber band holding the KX2 down. <laughs> That's all I really need to do this. I need to get a better strap to hold this thing down, but you know what? It works. It works fine. I'm not worried. If this falls over, it's not going to hurt the KX2 anyway. Let's see what my pre-programmed... I don't think my pre-programmed message is for Poda, I think, or for Soda. I think it's for Poda, so I'm going to go ahead and start that. Again, apologies. The audio may be all over the place in this video. Uh, let's, let's give this a go. See if that did that correctly. I, I couldn't watch it while I was doing it. Ugh, it didn't. This is one of the weird things about this. The KX2 and the KX3 both, the keyers are just picky. They're so picky about how you, your rhythm when you do it. check the time here. See if I can get everything in the camera. I think everything's in here. Okay, 12. So we're at about 16. Not 20 meters. CW. Hopefully someone will be out there. actually have cell phone service, but I'm just so curious if I'll get automatically spotted or not that I want to give this a go, uh, just having it spot. So I'm looking at my Soda Goat app. I didn't think I would have cell phone service out here, by the way. I really didn't think I would. I'm doing a little bit longer CQ than I normally do for this to try to get the reverse beacon network to pick me up more quickly and pull me over. So far I haven't been spotted yet on the soda site, but I don't know how long that takes. The parks on the air site's much faster. Also sent a text message to my oh it did it spotted me excellent now I know I'm spotted do it properly. <laughs> the one thing about sitting on the ground, I don't know, when you're holding things, it's really good at making your leg fall asleep. I'm going to try to let that not happen this time. It's actually really soft. It's on pine needles. It's on pine needles, needles but to be honest, the thing that I worry about more than anything else this time of year um, it's when ticks start coming out again. <laughs> I know they have deer ticks here. Um, and uh, actually, I've had a lot of uh, subscribers ask me about that. And I actually do, I coat myself in um, bug spray that should keep those things off. I also like to use, um, it's called permethrin on some of my um, hiking gear and equipment. Or, or the clothes I wear when I go hiking. That stuff really does keep everything off, it seems.
may be slow going today on 20 meters. Oh, yes. He has such a huge signal from France, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you. 
He just can't hear me. So the deal is here, I didn't actually give him a proper signal report on that last time. I just wanted him to know I could hear him. Okay, let me think that is a DJ. Let me do one more CQ call here. Uh, my foot's going to sleep. I can feel it. Again, sorry about the audio here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move down to 30. So now, here's one of the reasons why I love having an ATU at my disposal. This antenna is a 40, 30, 20 antenna. It's resonant on those bands. And, um, move down to where I like to go. It's resonant on 40, 30, and 20. If I want to do 30 meters resonant, I just pull down the antenna, I remove a little SMA cap that's on the coil, and uh, that allows me to do, it shortens the antenna and allows me to do 30 meters. But if I don't want to do that, I can just press ATU on here and hopefully it'll tune. <laughs> yeah. And so I don't have to pull it down to do that. 
using the ATU is not as efficient as just using, you know, resin and antenna, but it saves me a lot of time. And so that's the reason why having an ATU is so nice to have. It just gives you the flexibility to jump around wherever you want to go, wherever the bands may lead you that day. Um, so that's one of the reasons I like doing that. So let me try to spot myself now. I don't hear anybody here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll see if Soda respots me. I'm operating 5 watts. I could operate 10 watts with this, but I'm just doing 5 because I like to do a valid Parks on the Air activation each time with 10 with uh, 5 watts only. I may pump it up to 10 after that. <laughs> Some of my uh, subscribers on YouTube have asked me to go something higher than QRP so they can hear me, and I know that's true. Um, but when I'm traveling and doing this sort of thing, if I'm doing a summit especially, I'm not going to carry in anything that uh, does more than QRP power because it's just heavy. Let me check my Soda Goat app. I love this app. See if it respots me. Not yet. Since I do have cell phone service, if I can remember when I'm done here, I can do Summit to Summits. The hike up here was really not bad at all. It's really pretty. It's just a, an old logging trail, basically, uh, uh, for cars. I could take my Subaru on the whole thing uh, very easily. Really pretty. I'm out here on my own. There's nobody else around here right now at all. Ooh, I need to mark. This is 30 meters now. <clears throat> Putting CW after 30 meters is a little redundant, but hey, I gotta put that in my logs to remind me to make sure I set my logs correctly when I <laughs> put them in on the computer. Hey, it has respotted me. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's respotted me on 30 meters on the soda app. Oh, the soda app. I don't know about parks on the air, but this is promising. The next site I'm going to, I have no chance of. Whoops, sorry, right, no chance of. No chance of um, having a cell phone service because I know exactly where. Well, actually, no, I'm going to a different part of the gangland I've been to before, and it does have a little higher altitude. I suppose it's theoretically possible I could have cell phone service there, but it's highly unlikely. Um, that whole area, I've never had cell phone service in that whole area, so I think it's unlikely. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> My allergies are really bothering me right now. This time in North Carolina, if you've never been to North Carolina in April, I promise you, you're, if you have any allergies at all, you'll find out <laughs> when you get here. It's insane. I'm underneath all these pine trees, and um, there are poplars here, oak trees, hickories. I've seen locusts. Um, it just seems like everything's uh, pollinating right now, and it's... I mean, I think I even see a film already forming on my the screen here. I should get hazard pay for this. <laughs> 30 meters does not have a lot of activity this time. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> it's funny, actually, so when you're doing a memory here like this, they're almost all designed so that if you hit your key, it interrupts it immediately. So that time, instead of sending soda, CQ soda, I sent CQ poda. <laughs> what did I send to? I don't know why I did that. Instead of sending da da da, here we go. That is what you call muscle memory. I'm going to move on down to the 40 meter band now. I'm just not hearing any activity here. Let's listen here for just a little bit. And I'll go for. Only need two more for a valid parks on the air activation. I've already got my soda activation. Hopefully on this band I can get K8RAT and WD8RIF <clears throat> if they're around. No activations complete without them. This is the great thing about the KX2. I can sit it here on a clipboard, and it's like having a, you know, a table. Uh, it's so small. Normally, I'd leave this flat, by the way, because I, if I wasn't doing a video, I would just use earphones, and so I'd leave this laying flat. But I put it up on its little um, leg here so that the speaker has a little room and you can hear it a little better. Um, but it puts the keys at a little bit of an angle, and actually I prefer having them kind of straight out from the radio. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. That's a good report. Thank you. 
Ooh, he dropped down. Let's do a CQ call. So I've got my valid activations now. Okay, that was a little long. so bad that it's uh, moving around on me. Let's see. Let's go ahead and call CQ one more time. Okay, we're going to move, we're going to move to the single side bands. <laughs> and you know what, maybe I'll go up to here. Plug in my mic. I could use the mic that's built into the KX2, but it's... Okay, let's see. First of all, let me check and see if there are any soda spots out here on... Okay, 14.328. November Golf 6, Romeo. Yeah, I think they're a little too... Okay, now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this up to 10 full watts here. Okay, 
for single sideband. Hopefully there's enough juice in the battery to do this. Oh, you know what? I need to tune. <laughs> always, always move off frequency before you tune up. <laughs> Kilo four, sugar, whiskey, Lima, part, uh, summit to summit, summit to summit. Roger, Roger, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima. Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima. You are 5x6, five 5x6. By six, five by six. Summit here is Whiskey 4 Charlie, Echo Mike 082. Whiskey 4 Charlie, Echo Mike 082. QSL? Roger, Roger. I got you 100% there, my friend. 100%. Hey, thank you very much uh, for the activation and the Summit to Summit. And uh, enjoy this wonderful weather, okay? Seven threes, my friend. Okay, summit to Summit. Let me put the time down. <clears throat> let's see if there's anybody else out here running in single sideband on 20 meters mm, I don't see anyone I don't see anyone out here that's probably fresh let's see 14337 let's try that One of the things you learn when you go out to the field uh, on a summit or a park or game land or wherever, there's like no noise on the bands. <laughs> the only noise you'll hear are, are like, you know, the, st the type of noise you would hear like QRN, like QR Nancy. But you don't hear any, if you're not near power lines or anything else, it's just the, the bands are so quiet. Your radio just sounds so amazing in the field. So this is a little bit off camera here. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let me go back to my spots. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for all this coughing, up, and I'll stop apologizing about the audio. It, it is what it is, right? Okay, so I need to remember this is 20 meters, single sideband. And let me start calling CQ here. Well, actually, I need to spot myself first, uh, because this will not auto-spot me. This is 14.336. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? This is K4SWL. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Summits on the Air. This is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Summits on the Air. <coughs> <coughs> CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. <clears throat> CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for summits on the air. CQ 
CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Summits on the Air. You know what we'll do? We'll record this. I'm recording to position number two. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Summits on the Air. Now I can take this and replay it. Thus saving my voice. See how long I've been on the air here. Oh, about, yeah, about 30 minutes. That's not too bad. I love how easy on the KX series it is to record voice memory um, recordings like this. Super easy. It's also very easy on the 705. Um, and you know, I think that's about the only other radios I have that do voice memories, voice keyer memories. I also try to do single sideband. Sometimes I, I forget to do it, and if I'm in a hurry, I don't end up doing it. I like doing it because some people just don't do CW, and it's awfully nice to be able to open up a park or a summit or something for them. Not getting a lot of action here though, so I may move down to 40 meters. We're just before the time of year where, actually where we're in the time of the year, where in the spring you can't be as confident when you're going to a summit, especially if it takes a long hike to get there because pop-up thunder showers can happen and you do not want to get caught in something like that when you're near a summit or just out in the woods in general, to be honest. Um, those things can be pretty nasty. Although people that live like in the Rocky Mountains and places where you've got those super high summits this is a two-point summit. Um, it's not terribly um, high, um, but uh, it's one of the highest spots around here, which is what makes it a, a soda summit. And when you're one of the highest spots around, that's where <laughs> lightning likes to find ground. Okay, I think I'll move down to 40 meters here real quick. I should be more patient, but I want to go to 40 and then Okay, we're going to move down to 40 meters. Boy, the van sounds quiet. It could be because it's out of resonance, but we're such a bad match. Well, the van's just kind of quiet today, I guess. Let's see first if there are any spots here on Soda. I could do it for Poda as well. Let's see. Let's see. Um, 7228. Let's see where they're located. Ooh, W5 land. Ooh, that could be tough. 
Yeah. I doubt I'll get that. Okay, let's move down to... Is this frequency in use? I need to retune. Is this frequency in use? This is K4SWL. Just sending a text to my friends, letting them know where I am. I'll go on the Soda app and spot myself again. 7.197, single sideband. And I'm not gonna leave any notes in there. Oh, I gotta select a summit. We know what summit we're on. See, this makes it so easy to do. Submitting. Done. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Soda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey, Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Soda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey, Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. There is a little bit of a monitor sound coming back on this. CQ Soda, CQ Soda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. CQ Soda, CQ Soda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air and for parks on the air. This is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima. Alpha Kilo 8 Alpha, good morning, you are, or good afternoon, you are about a 5x7, five 5x7 by seven, five by seven here, um, QSL. Thank you sir for that 3 and 3 in the mission, and this is also, this is a soda activation for Whiskey 4 Charlie Echo Mike 082, and also... Uh, for uh, K6941 and K4859. <laughs> so it's about three here. Seven threes, my friend. Thank you for the contact. <clears throat> CQ Soda, CQ Soda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for summits on the air. <clears throat> CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra, Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for summits on the air. When I do single sideband, by the way, I try to really speak up, even though I've got my mic set properly and all that. I st still try to speak up into the mic and articulate as best I can. And that probably isn't very pleasant when I'm doing a video because my audio is going to be a lot louder when I'm doing it. <clears throat> but I find that it just works a little bit better for me. It's one of the great things, too, about having a voice memory keyer is um, you can do a really nice recording with low noise, and I think it just sends out better audio than you might get if you're in the field and it, it's windy or something. I actually have a Heil Pro set made for the Elecraft uh, KX2 and KX3, and I think any Elecraft radio. And if I didn't need to... 
the November India Station go ahead. The November India Station go ahead. Roger, Roger, Kilo Echo 8, Oscar, November, India. You're about a 5x6, five a 5x6 five here. Uh, multiple park numbers. Uh, this is Kilo 4859, Kilo 6941, and it's Summit, Whiskey 4 Charlie, Echo Mike 082. QSL? Roger, Roger, my friend. Hey, 7 is my friend. Thank you very much for uh, chasing me out here today and have yourself a wonderful week. Uh, QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Summits on the Air. <laughs> Kilo 8, Romeo Alpha Tango. Man, it's nice to have you on both CW and SSB, Mike. Uh, you're about a 5x4, a 5x4 here. Uh, now, you know all my park numbers. QSL? Ooh, he's really quiet. Okay, Mike, yep, you fell down through the noise hole, but I've got you here in the logs. I heard you uh, fine. So thank you very much for the contacts, and thank you also for making sure I'm spotted there on the networks. Uh, seven threes. Roger, roger, my friend. Hey, seven threes, and uh, take care. Uh, QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, for Parks on the Air and Summits on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Parks on the Air and Summits on the Air. It's almost one o'clock and I'm probably going to pack up here soon. Is that Whiskey Bravo 4 Kilo Tango Uniform QSL? Roger, Roger, Whiskey Bravo 4, Kilo Tango Uniform. You're about a 5x6 as well here, um, and we've got multiple park numbers. Um, they're uh, park number 4859, park 6941, and this is also a Summits on the Air activation for Whiskey 4 Charlie, Echo Mike 082, QSL? Ooh, the band is flaky. Whiskey Bravo 4, a Kilo Tango uniform. I've got you in the logs, my friend. Thank you. And seven threes. Roger, Roger. Thank you, my friend. And seven threes. Take care. Now, here's the thing about that you should keep in mind when you're doing any kind of activation. Um, if it's CW or single sideband in a situation like this where we obviously have really strong QSB QS Baker which is fading where it goes up and down when you do when they can hear when you can hear them they can probably hear you the path is probably open so when he came back pretty strong I came in immediately after him to say seven threes thank you because I knew that was my best shot of him hearing me um, and when you have fading fading kind of goes in a rhythm Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's shallow, and sometimes it's really deep. When it's really deep and it's slow, that's the most problematic because you may get the first part of an exchange and not get anything from the second part of the exchange. That's the reason why even earlier, I can't remember if it was on 40 or 20, I went back and I gave my signal report like three times uh, for someone because I knew that I was probably hitting the trough of that QS Baker and I was trying to go out of rhythm of the of the fading in order to make it work. So I'm going to call CQ here a little bit longer and then I'm going to hop off um, and pack up.
this has been a successful activation and I'd like to maybe go do one more before the end of the day today. Plus I want to grab some lunch. <laughs> Just realized I've got my I've got my attenuator on. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's no good. There we go. Let's see. QRZ. QRZ. This is Kilo Four Sierra Whiskey Lima. QRZ. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Summits on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Soda, CQ Soda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, calling CQ for Summits on the Air and for Parks on the Air. Okay, nothing heard. I'm going to go QRT. This is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima. I'm QRT. Okay, so let's see how many we got here in all. All in all, let's see. So 14, maybe 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hey, I'm pleased. That's just fine. Uh, so... Um, Hey, on 20 meters, we got all the way out to the West Coast, into Utah, France, and Spain. Um, we worked all the uh, Ohio Valley, basically, and into, um, I think we got Missouri on here somewhere. Do I have Missouri? I've got Michigan and Mississippi, I think. Um, and uh, got one summit, the summit. So, hey, that's pretty nice. So, this will be three entities in one, which is really nice, too. So, anyway, thank you guys very much uh, for... Uh, <laughs> hanging out here with me and dealing with my audio ups and downs. And uh, now i um, got a nice hike back. I go down here, take a right, and follow that all the way down to where I parked about two, maybe a little bit longer than two miles away. But it's a very pleasant uh, walk today. I didn't even bring my hiking sticks. It's so easy. And uh, now it's time to pack up all this stuff. I'm guessing that'll take me probably about eight minutes, ten minutes. So... Uh, thank you very much, and uh, if you like these videos, which I'm surprised if you do, but if you do, <laughs> please uh, consider subscribing. It just gives me an idea of how many people are watching. Um, I don't monetize anything here. Uh, this is just for fun and enjoyment and education. I just like to do anything I can to encourage people to do this stuff, to get out in the field and play radio, and um, also uh, to encourage people to do like I did last year, which is to learn CW and maybe do some CW activations, um, and uh, it's not nearly as hard as it may seem it is. There's CW is a skill set, and I, I plan, I promise, I will do a video soon about how I learned CW. It's not an, a super exciting path, but I think there are many different paths. Don't ever let anyone tell you there's only one way to learn CW. It's just not true. Um, it's, uh, I think that people can put up a lot of mental barriers against things, but um, CW is a skill, but it's not a difficult skill. That's the reason why it's so popular in amateur radio and and you know in the past in the military and so many people could become CW intersects because it's not too hard to learn it really isn't it just kind of your brain just kind of does all the work for you anyway thank you very much and until next time seven threes